counting down three, two, one, Q. Over the years, Nigerians have suffered flood, which has led to loss of lives and properties. As we hope on the federal government to, as, to address the issue of flood and other related issues. Joining me to discuss this issue today on the big agenda is distinguished Senator Aminu Iya Abbas, representing the Adamawa Central Senatorial District of Adamawa State. You're highly welcome, distinguished sir. Thank you very much. Let me quickly ask, um, you sponsored the motion um, uh, on the floor of the Senate for needs to prevent loss of lives caused by flood and on the red, on Dredge River, Benue in Adama State. Yes. What led to, the, um, to this motion? Well, um, uh, for the past uh, two months, this year we lost about, uh, about 70, 70 people in the river. And um, uh, you know the purpose of governance is to secure uh, life and property. And if um, we are losing people, then there is need for for government to take action on it. And that is why I supported the motion. You know uh, uh, the river that passed through Adamawa, not only Adamawa, it went through Adamawa to Taraba, to Benue, to Kogi, Terminator of Kogi, where it meets with Benue, River Niger, and then. From there, it went down to South Niger Delta. Now, when, once there is flood, it affects all those states. But the first state that it affects is Adama State, because it flows through Cameroon to Adama State. So we, every year, in, year out, uh, we are losing people. We are losing uh, 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 farmlands. People are losing their own livelihood. And I feel that um, this time around, we should take it to the next level. We always talk about uh, uh, having the solution, but we never had uh, a bill uh, in the Senate uh, uh, for the previous years on this river. So that is why I sponsored the bill. We sponsored the first bill uh, some weeks ago, jointly with all the states uh, that I mentioned. And um, another strategy, uh, uh, strategy happened again, and then we, we, I feel that, look, if I'll be losing people in just one year, there are three uh, 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 boats uh, capsized within, the, within this river. Three times, I mean. The first time was about four or five people. Second time, 50 something people. And then the last one, recent, is about uh, 30 something people. Only five uh, came out alive. So that calls for the motion to be moved. And um, uh, town board, uh, the, Senate, uh, the senators uh, backed the motion. And the Senate President uh, emphatically stated that dredging of the river and uh, constructing the Asin uh, Dam is key to this motion. And uh, I think we are telling the executive to include it in the budget of 2024 to ensure that that dam is being constructed. Okay, uh, like you rightly said, you say year in, year out, yeah. um, this has, will, Nigerians have over the time yes. lost life and yes. property. But this is not the first time. You are not even the first senator to sponsor a motion about flood. So yeah. many other senators have done that. And repeatedly, year in, year out, like you rightly said, it keeps happening. And if, if it, 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 I feel or I think like the government relents or once this uh, rainy season is over, it's been overlooked. Like, we go about talking about the problem, but there is no possible solution, or the federal government don't find a possible solution to this. Well, that is How irony. do you think we, Nigerians... That is the irony of the whole issue. You see, this dam that we're talking about is a bilateral agreement. There's a bilateral agreement before the dam in Cameroon is constructed. Nigeria and Cameroon sat together and then they agreed. Cameroon have their dam, Nigeria have their own dam. And Cameroon constructed their dam. And Cameroon cannot control the water that comes into Nigeria. Once the dam is getting full up, filled up, they, they have to release the water. And the water comes to Nigeria. Straight. So what, what, Cameroon was, uh, what, what was the agreement then was that we have our dam, Cameroon will have their dam. So that if they release water from Cameroon, our dam is here for us to control how to release water. But unfortunately, we didn't control our own. And that's what because of all this problem uh, in Adamawa State. And beyond, not, even, not only Adam said, in Taraba last week, they, about, uh, they said 50 something people, some people died. And it's the same kind of thing. So every day, every year in, year out, a new river, new opening, uh, because of the, 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 the old dredge river Benue, because the, the, whole, the whole river is filled up. There's way, once water comes, it has to break, open a new, new rivers, and then uh, enter through people's farms, destroy crops. And um, we feel that. Even if they have not done anything before, this time we need to speak out. 
and the Senate has spoken. And I believe um, the, the, the government of the president uh, uh, of uh, Bola de Tinubu, uh, which term itself to be a new hope, will uh, do something better for us. And um, the Senate also is an uncommon Senate president, uncommon Senate, collective Senate, that's what we call ourselves. So if we are going to be seen to be collective Senate, uh, we need to do something on this. So that we, at least let's reduce the number of casualties. Okay, um, can you kindly tell us the extent you, um, the federal government, the Nigerian government has gone with the Cameroonian government to talk or to bring to end the um, dredge which the Cameroonian government release every year that causes havoc to Nigeria? Well, you know, the first problem, the first thing is if there is bilateral agreement, is for both parties to fulfill. Cameroon, the Eagle announced that they are going to release the water. But they will not control the excess of water that they release, they won't control it. And nobody, and our people don't even believe if the Cameroon announced that they are going to release water in two days. You will not know what time they release water, whether in the morning, afternoon, or night. So some people will cross, go to their farm, before they come back, the river gets filled up. So since we can't control, our, we can't, we can't control uh, on our own side, we won't be relying on a foreign nation to, to, to solve our problem. So the first thing is to construct that Senator Dam, which will now warehouse every water that is coming from Cameroon. Then we now think of dredging the river. Because the Benue, I, 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 it was never dredged. I've never heard when they say they dredged Rabenue. River, river Niger was one time they attempted, they attempted dredging by Niger, but I don't know how far it went. But we never dredged Rabenue. So this is what they are calling for. Let's do this and solve this problem. Uh, Neymar said over 600 people died uh, 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 with, with this, some few years on this river. Over 600 people. So how will the country sit, see all these casualties? The president, I can remember, when there was, um, there was this uh, tragedy that happened uh, about two times or three times, he instructed new how to investigate why these ships uh, these boats continue capsizing in the river. So I, and I have not heard that they've submitted the report or, or submitted the report to the president or have they taken action on it. Nobody heard about it. That is why we are calling on the president, we are calling on the presidency to do something on this river so that at least the purpose of us being elected uh, will be served. So is the Senate giving Nigerian hope that next time around we won't have to experience such incidents next year come well, rainy season? But, well, you know, you, know, you know how far we we'll go. Uh, the Senate is to make laws, to make motions, resolutions, and acts the executive fulfill. We are doing our part, and we are lobbying to see that this thing is being achieved. But I will not guarantee you because I'm not on the other side. Uh, if you help me, uh, maybe get one of the other Minister of Water Resources or to ask about this motion, there is this motion that is passed. I think Nigerians will know better. But for on our side, we will try by all means to ensure that something tangible is now being budgeted for for this either dredging or the or the construction of that uh, uh, dam. Okay, so um, to the affected victims, or what did the government do, or what is what is the government expected to do for the ones who are badly affected? Well, well we ask them to provide relief material for them and. Um, uh, and I think um, we call on NEMA, if you look at the motion, we call on NEMA to provide relief material for the victims of the, uh, the people that lost their, the, the families of the people that lost their life. So we ask them to help them because uh, somebody lost uh, a breadwinner, a father, their families. So we are calling on NEMA, and we call it, and then it's part of the resolution of the Senate uh, to ensure that, to, for NEMA to ensure that they assisted. Uh, uh, the families of those victims. Okay, last Lisa, before I come to an, uh, we come to an end of the program, uh, not just about flooding in Nigeria. Apart from flooding, we are faced with so many problems. Um, we talk about the security challenges. We talk about the economic growth. Now, um, Mr. President, um, Bola Ametinubu has um, given Nigerians hope, uh, a renewed hope. Mm -hmm. So, um, addressing all these issues, what, what strategies would you advise the government to adopt to make sure that Nigerians get back to East Normal State? Because every day we know we are losing foreign investors and we can't definitely continue like this. Well, if you, if you look at the budget, the exploratory budget that is passed, it's about $1 trillion that was passed for security agencies. And that is how far the president wants to correct the issue of insecurity. 
There is nothing the security agents will ask, the Senate and the presidency will not do. So it is now left to the security agencies uh, to, to, to utilize what is given to them, to ensure that there is peace in Nigeria, to ensure that people will travel without thinking of uh, being kidnapped or being held. It is their responsibility because whatever they ask for is being provided. And the Senate, that's why we, the Senate did his state when they brought the Senate. But Nigerians will be asking, why did they bring the Senate budget and then you pass it within one or two days? We did this because we know there is importance of the, uh, passing this budget because of the need to secure Nigerians. And that is why we passed the budget as, uh, with that speed. So, um, if, if somebody will be given a supplementary budget, one trillion, to, 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 to conclude the year, I think the president has shown uh, a lot of uh, concern for the security of life and property in the country. And um, uh, the Senate, as we said, we were screening them, the chief executive or the, uh, the chiefs of Army, and Air, Army, Air and Defense Staff and then uh, chief of naval Staff, we told them we hold responsible. And we told them that whatever they ask for, this Senate will provide it for them. And, uh, and is, the Senate willing, really, uh, is the Senate really willing to provide whatever they, what, ask whatever they ask for in the budget. Ours is to provide, approve the budget. And we've just done that. Whatever they ask for and is being brought to us by the executive, we approve. We've never been about with it. And that's what we did. So we hope that they will also live up to their, 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 their expectation by, by Nigerians uh, to defend Nigeria, both internal and against external aggression to the country. All right, thank you so much for your audience. We really do appreciate And to this point, we'll come to the end of the program. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, on YouTube at Prime Reporters News. Thank you very much. I am Macy Emelite. Thank you.